Live 10 at 10 continues with No Wait Weather. That was a great cause to get outdoors yeah. for, and the weather was just great nice to get out for. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Now, we're going to have nice weather to continue, but we do have a chance of some much-needed rain as well, so a little something for everyone. And let's take a look at that sunset tonight. It's beautiful out there. Oh, the sunset's gone. Well, I'll tell you what, it's getting dark, and it's 67 degrees on the thermometer, and we are fairly dry with dew points down in the 50s out there. Very comfortable today, even though we did reach those 80s. It didn't feel too hot. Winds remain light. Elsewhere, 63 Valley City. Gwinter, you have 61. Look at Langdon already in the 50s there. 57 degrees, and we have 70 in Fergus Falls. And nearly that same reading extending up into Becker County for Detroit. Like showers up near the international border. Those are slowly sagging southward. Showers moving through Colorado. Much needed rain there. And basically a lot of a scattered light shower activity along the east coast as we head into the evening hours. And here's a look at how dry things are. We continue with severe to exceptional drought in central and western portions of North Dakota. Fargo, it's been very dry this year. We're about five inches below average for a rainfall for this time of year. We could really use the moisture. There's a chance of it in the forecast, but not overnight tonight. Notice the clouds up north near Winnipeg will bring a chance of showers to northern Minnesota during the overnight hours. Nothing too organized or heavy. Most of us will stay quiet, though, and very comfortably cool. Crack the windows. It looks fabulous out there for some fresh air in the house. Light winds to start your Tuesday and 50s for most of us. Those clouds kind of linger in the northern valley as we go through the midday hours. Temperatures will approach the 80 degree mark for many of us here in the south. Clouds will limit temperatures and heating in the north, but just a little bit. As we go into the afternoon, most of us will see sun. Cannot rule out spotty showers or rumbles of thunder in northern Minnesota for our Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures soar into the 80s south and elsewhere. Late in the day, it remains quiet with an increase in clouds from the west, a sign of changes for your midweek day. Here's a look at your planner, Fargo 50. So it will be very comfortable to start the day. We spend most of the afternoon in the 80s, a little bit warmer than today. Winds fairly light. We'll see a few clouds, but I don't think showers for us. The best chance of that will be northwest Minnesota. That's where temperatures will be a little bit cooler. We're talking 70s there. The rest of us 80 to 85 possibly near the FM area. Now Wednesday, I said that chance of showers. We'll have a chance in the morning of hit and miss showers or thunderstorms, mainly west. The chance for the valley comes in the afternoon. A few of the storms down south could be strong, and we'll see uh, intermittent hit and miss thunderstorms. And again, not everyone will see them, but it'll be our best chance of rain over the next seven days. That's Wednesday into Thursday. A gorgeous shot. Hard to tell the sky from the glassy waters of Pickerel Lake. Thanks so much, Carla, for uploading that photo. All right. We have that Wednesday chance of showers that we talked about, and that will cool our temperatures back into the 70s. And that's where we stay for late week. It will be cooler and pleasant. Any showers on Thursday will likely be in the morning. And then as we glide toward the weekend, the seasonable weather returns. 80s, spotty showers, and next week it looks a little warm to start your Monday off another 84-degree day. Well, a little bit hotter than, you know, the 70s, but I think we'll take it. Right, and a chance for showers, which is always good, huh? The last one greened things up a bit around yeah, here. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yes. Thanks. Mm -hmm.